accurate data is hugely important for making business decisions, and a simple survey can very often provide most of the information you need. Here's a form we've created to get viewers' reactions to our video training series. It is actually live. You can fill it in here. We use the survey tool in Microsoft Office, Microsoft Forms. Unlike many other online survey tools, it's free if you have Office 365. It offers unlimited surveys and questions, excellent analytical tools, and you can download your data to Excel. Open the Forms app in Office 365 and click on New Form. Give your form a name. Add a picture if you want. I'm using eTOPS logo, which I have in my OneDrive folder. And then give your form a subtitle. You can change the theme colour if you want. By previewing the form, I see it's defaulted to green. I don't particularly like that, so I'm going to change to eTOPS Blue by using the Theme tab here. Next, I add my survey questions. You get four main question types, and I'll use our form to show you how each one works. The first option is a simple radio button choice, where users can choose one of a range of alternatives. Have you found this video helpful? You can choose yes, no, or maybe, or simply add all three. If your questions are more open, you can add more options, and even an other field where users can specify their own answer. I want to make this answer required. My second question demonstrates a text box question. Which video did you watch? I could insert an image here, but I don't need to. I can offer the user a large text box for a long answer, but I don't need that either. However, I do want to require an answer to this question. There are a few other options here. You can copy the question, delete it, or change the question order. My third question demonstrates the ratings option. How would you rate it on content? You can choose a scale between 2 and 10. 5 is fine for me. And you can choose between star symbols or numbers. I prefer stars, and I'm going to keep this as a required answer. The fourth question option is a date box. The user enters a date in response to a question, but I don't need this for my survey. There are three other options you could use. Ranking a series of statements in preference order. Likert, a two-axis preference choice. And finally, the ubiquitous, how likely are you to? Well, here's my completed survey. I'll do a quick preview to proofread the questions. And I'm ready for the next check, a user test, where I fill in a set of sample answers. It's important to do a quick check like this to make sure the logic of your survey is correct. I can email a link to the survey to the marketing director so he can check it as well. He replies that he's happy with it and he's even added some test responses for me. So now I'm ready to go live with the form. Under Share, I choose Settings. The first choice is whether anyone can fill in the survey or whether it's limited to people in my organisation, those who share the same Office 365 account. If you choose the latter, the default option is to record the name of the person filling in the survey. For data protection reasons, you might want the responses to be anonymous. If so, uncheck this button. But I want anyone who views this or any other eTOP video to be able to respond. Under Options for Responses, I definitely want to accept responses. I don't want a start or end date, nor do I want to spoil the logical flow of my questions by shuffling the order. But I do want to modify the rather curt Your message has been sent with a nicer thank you message. And I'd like an email notification of each response.
To send to users, you have four main options. The first is a simple link to the survey that you can send via email, use on social media or add to a website. The second is a downloadable QR code. That's very useful for print media such as posters or magazines. The third is an iframe to embed the survey into a website. And a word of warning, iframes are not popular with web designers because they've been vulnerable to malicious attack. The final option is a standard MailTo link that calls the Mail app. You can also share it as a template or let your colleagues collaborate on it. And finally, you can view the responses you get to your survey using the Response tab here. You can either choose an overview of the responses or you can manage individual responses here or download an Excel file for them for deeper analysis, or even to import into a database. That's an overview of how to use Microsoft's forms. A word of warning, never ask for anyone's password for anything in any field. And if you're filling in a survey and it asks you for a password, don't give it. And a word of advice, make your form short and easy. Two minutes maximum to complete. Viewers really hate long surveys. Remember, this survey is actually live. Please use it to send eTop Technology your response to our training series. We're here to help. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, check out some of our more recent videos. And if you're looking for a new IT partner, please visit our website.